The Nursing Madonna is the only painting by Spanish painter Bartolomé Esteban Murillo in Rome. It's currently on display in the historic Palazzo Barberini. It's a painting of the Virgin Mary breastfeeding Jesus as a baby, but it contains a secret. Behind the Madonna and child is another image of Saint Francis kneeling among nature. Murillo must have made it before the work we see before us. It was another image that was almost finished in its entirety and that for some unknown reason he decided to hide. Through x-rays, it is possible to see the face of St. Francis behind the image of Mary, as well as his hands bearing the stigmata, his tunic, and even the garden around him. On the surface, no trace remains of the scene of St. Francis behind the painting. Yet the beauty of this painting is not the hidden image of St. Francis, but the captivating eyes of its subjects, which draw the audience into the painting. He painted the Madonna in child as if it were a mother nursing her child in an open space. We could even imagine that we are in Seville, and next to a slightly damaged wall we see this mother breastfeeding her child, and the arrival of the viewer disrupts the moment, so they turn around. The gaze of the Virgin and the infant Jesus captivate the viewer, bringing them into the humble scene. Since it was painted in 1675, Murillo's work continues to fascinate audiences from around the world. The restoration of the nursing Madonna took 10 months to complete. It will be on display at Palazzo Barberini until July. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.